Hello Legacy Savers! Today we're going to look at application problems for linear systems in two variables. So basically story problems of systems. Which is pretty much why we would learn this information anyway. So here is the steps we're going to take for each problem today. We are first going to identify what variables. We're going to write a system of equations to model the situation solve it, and then we're going to answer the question using a complete sentence. So let's look at the four examples for today. Corey has $24, more than twice as much money as Stan. Together they have $150. How much money does each have? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline the information that they gave me. Well, first of all, they're talking about a guy named Corey. And we know he has $24 more than twice as much money as Stan. Notice we got another guy here. So we got Corey and Stan. Um, together they have $150. How much money does each have? So I'm going to un I'm going to circle the end. The circle tells you what are the two variables they are talking about. So each have. That means each man, right? So the two people we're talking about, we're talking about Corey and we're talking about Stan. Those are our two variables. So X can be Corey's money and Y will be Stan's money. So we have identified the first thing. So Corey's money, Stan's money. So then let's now figure out how are they related. That's the underlying portion. So 20, Corey has $24 more than twice as much money as Stan. So let's kind of write that in mathematical terms. So Corey has, that would be Corey equals, right? $24 more than, well that would be, if I have more than 24, well that would be a plus, right? 24 plus twice as much money as Stan. So twice is two times. So two times as much as Stan, which is y. So I have, I have an equation already. x equals 24 plus 2y. Together, they're going to have $150. So Corey and Stan together make $150. Or x plus y equals 150. Right? That's all they're saying. Now, I don't even care about the story problem anymore. I just need to solve this system. I'm going to actually use substitution because I already have a variable solved for. So I'm going to plug this value in for my x. So I get 24 plus 2y plus y equals 150 because all I did is plugged in for x, right? Combine my y's together. I have 24 plus 3y equals 150. Let's go ahead and solve that. So if I subtract 24 from 150, we get 3y equals 126, divide by 3, and I get y equals 42, right? Now, let's figure out x value as well, and then we'll talk about what does this actually mean. So I'm going to plug it into the bottom equation. It looks a little easier. So x plus 42 has to equal 150. If I subtract my 42, I'm going to get x equals 108. Now, that's not, that's, that's all fine and dandy. x equals 108, y equals 42. But since this is a story problem, you need to answer the question. They want to know how much money does each have. So we know that Corey has, and Corey was X, so he has $108. And Stan has, and Stan was Y, and he has $42. That would be my final answer to this problem. Corey has $108, and Stan has $42. Let's try the next one. Phil has 50 nickels and dimes worth $4.15. How many of each kind of coin does he have? So let's underline here. We got 50 nickels and dimes. It is worth $4.15. And how much of each kind of coin does he have? So 
Those are going to be my two variables. Because remember, the last sentence, the question mark, is going to tell you what your two variables are. So they want to know how many of each kind of coin. So what are the two kinds of coins that my problem is talking about? It's talking about nickels, and you're talking about dimes. So my x is going to be the number of nickels I got. Y is going to be the number of dimes I have. Now, let's look at all the variables we got here. We got some 50 nickels and dimes. So that means that there are 50 nickels and dimes all together. Or x plus y has to equal 50, right? If I add some nickels and I add my dimes, they have to make 50 coins in all. And it is worth $4.15. Now you're probably saying, Marsh, we're missing some numbers here. I don't know what we're doing. Well, how will we do this? $4.15. How can I find out the total amount of money that the number of coins I have? So how can I find out how much the number of nickels I have is worth? Well, each nickel is worth five cents, right? So I could say that if I'd go 0 0.05 times my x, that would be the amount of money that my amount of nickels is worth, right? Same thing for dimes. I would have to go 0.1, right? That would be 10 cents times my y value, number of dimes. That has to equal $4.15. So 5 hundredths times x plus 1 tenth times y equals 4.15. Now, let's solve. I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative 0.1. So basically, I'm going to cancel out the y's. That's ultimately what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to get 0, negative 0.1x minus negative 0.1y equals uh, 50 times a negative 0.1 is a negative 5. Now let's subtract my x's. 0.05x minus 0.1x is a negative 0.05x. Y's are gone. 4.15, minus 5 is negative 0.85. Uh, let's divide by a negative 0.5. So I'm going to get x equals 17. All right, so then let's find our y value. So x is 17 plus my y is 50. So if I subtract 17 from both sides, I'm going to get y equals 50 minus 17, which is 33. Now, don't forget the final answer. They want us to answer the question, how many of each kind of coin does he have? So Phil has uh, nickels is x, that's 17, so 17 nickels and 33, that's your y, my dimes. So 33 dimes. Final answer, right there. Let's answer number three here. So the bill for five glasses of apple juice and four salads is $9.50, but the bill for four glasses of apple juice and five salads is $10.30. How much does each glass of apple juice and each salad cost? So basically, I'm going to find how much does a glass of apple juice cost and how much does a salad cost. So let's underline here. So I got five glasses of apple juice, four salads. And we have, that is for $9.50, right? But the bill for four glasses of apple juice and five salads is $10.30. Now, how much does each glass of apple juice cost and each salad? So those are my two variables. I am going to have an X for apple juice, and I'm going to have Y is salad. Now, let's write our two equations. So let's use our underlined information. I have five glasses of apple juice, four salads. So 5 apple juice, x, plus 4 salads equals $9.50, right? Because is is just a fancy, is the code word for equals. 
Then we have the second equation here, four glasses of apple juice, five salads. So four apple juice plus five salads equals $10.30. Now we need to solve this system. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative four and the bottom by a five. I'm going to basically cancel out my x values. So I'm going to get negative 20x minus 16y equals a negative 38 and 20x plus 25y equals 5150. It's me multiplying everything by 5 and everything by negative 4. Um, x's are going to cancel off. I'm going to be left with a 9y equals 1350. Once I add my two equations, divide by 9, and I get y equals a dollar. 50. Um, let's plug in to find my x value now. So I'm going to get 5x plus 4 times my y value, 150. And that's equaling $9.50. So 5x plus 4 times $1.50, that's 6. Subtract 6 here. So 5x equals 350, divide by 5, and I get x equals 0 0.70, it looks like. Now, let's write our final statement. So, they wanted to know how much does a glass of apple juice cost and salad cost. So, we'll write apple juice costs. That was my x value, 70 cents it looks like. And salad costs $1.50. Last problem of the night. So a movie theater charges $5 for an adult ticket and $2 for a child's ticket. One Saturday, the theater sold 785 tickets for $3,280. How many of each kind of ticket was sold for the movie that Saturday? So let's underline our good information here. $5 for adults, $2 for kids. Uh, 785 tickets were sold, and it was 3,280. How many of each kind of ticket? So they want to know how many of each kind of ticket. So... That tells us our X and our Y are going to be adult ticket and child ticket, right? Those are our two variables that they're wondering about. Um, well, let's put money with money. That makes sense, right? So 5 times my adult, whoops, that would be the amount of money I get for my adult tickets plus the money I get for my child tickets should equal $3,280. Um, the other number I have is 785 tickets. So what that is telling me is that the adult tickets and the child tickets all add up to $785, a.k.a. X plus Y has to equal $785, or 785 tickets. So, let's multiply the bottom equation by negative 5. That will allow me to cancel out the x values. So, if I rewrite my top equation here, my money equation. Um, now multiply, I got negative 5x minus 5y equals a negative $3,925. X's are gone. Minus 3y, um, looks like negative 645, after I plug that into my calculator. Um, divide by negative 3, so I'm going to get y equals 215. Then let's plug it into the bottom equation, it's going to be the quickest math. Plus 215 equals 785, subtract 215. Get x equals 570. Yep. All right, so let's write our final statement. 
So X is your adult ticket. So that would be 570 adult tickets and 215 childs, child tickets were sold. That is my final answer to this system. And that's the end of this video. See you later, Sabres.